In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create some VFX using PowerPoint. Now, you might be wondering why PowerPoint? The short answer to that is that somebody sent this video to my mom. Now, she was so blown away by this that she reached out to me to see if I could figure out how that was done because she wanted to create something similar. Sure enough, I looked at it and that could be very easily done using Premiere Pro or After Effects. But I thought to myself, could I possibly create this using just PowerPoint? And more enough, in a way very easy enough that my mom could follow along and use that for herself. So that's what we're going to be attempting to do in this tutorial. And the goal here is not to get you to start using PowerPoint for your VFX, but to open up your mind to some creative things you can do using PowerPoint. For example, if I was doing a presentation to get donation for water, I could start my presentation with something like this. If everyone here today was to commit to donating a dollar a day, we would raise enough money to provide over a hundred million households with clean drinking water. Think about that. I'm pretty sure with an intro like that, everyone would be waving out the dollar bills to start giving you their donations. Now let's head over to PowerPoint to show you how that was done. So the very first thing we're going to need is video of water being poured into a cup. Now you can obviously film this for yourself, but for things like this, I prefer to get them from a stock website. And my go-to stock website is Envato Elements. I like it because with a very low monthly cost of about $16 a month, you get uh, stock videos, stock photos, stock music, sound effects, 3D models, and they even have a bunch of templates templates for major editing softwares like Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects, which can, you can quickly download to use to do your project. And even in addition to that, they even have templates for PowerPoint. For example, if I go here and search for health, I'm going to see a bunch of PowerPoint templates for health, which are really nicely designed that I could download quickly and edit and use for my presentations. So that's why I choose Envato Element for most of my projects that I do. But if you want free options, there are also options like Unsplash and Pixabay. Uh, and also within PowerPoint. Also, if you go to insert, there's this option for stock videos and also stock images that you could use. Uh, but I personally prefer Envato Element. I'll leave the link to Envato Element in the description of this video. You can check it out and see if it's something that works for you. I've gone ahead to find a video that we're going to be using for this tutorial. So I'm going to download it and we're going to head over to PowerPoint to start our effect. So I'm going to head over to insert and then head over to video and then select from this device. So I already pre-downloaded the video of the water point. So I'll just select that and that will be loaded into PowerPoint as you can see right here. So if I play that back, you should see that this is just a video of water point into the cup uh, like we saw on the browser. So I'll just pause that here. Next, I have this image here that I have downloaded of a boy uh, drinking water from a tap. So we're gonna blend this into the cup and create the illusion and the effect that we're trying to do. To do that, I'm gonna go to the picture format right here at the top, and then I'll select uh, one of these presets here with a rounded border. Uh, this is gonna help us blend the picture properly with the cup. So I'll just resize that uh, properly within the cup, and then we're gonna soften those edges a little bit more so that this blends uh, even further. To do that, you wanna right click on the image and head over to format picture. And then right here to the right, you'd see where it says soft edges. So you just wanna increase the size of the soft edge itself. So I'll put it to about 50 points. Uh, that should soften it properly. As you can see, that blends even better. So next, I'll go back to the picture option and then I want to reduce the transparency. I want to set it to about 13 uh, right here. Uh, this is going to make the picture fade into the cup because it's a glass. You should be able to see through the picture a little bit and it makes it blend properly. And if we actually now fast forward our video to where we have some water in the scene, uh, you should see how this blends properly. So let me just fast forward this. So as you can see, if I put the video right here where we have some water, you can see that this really, really, really blends and it's we're starting to sell the effect pretty well. So that is looking pretty pretty good now. The next thing we want to do is add that wipe effect. And the idea here is that um, the picture is going to wipe from the bottom all the way to the top, creating that illusion that it's revealing itself as the water is pouring into the cup. So to do this, just make sure you have the picture selected and head over to the animation tab and then select the wipe entrance animation. So as you can see, if I play that, it wipes up. And if I play the entire scene from the beginning, this is what it looks like. Uh, it wipes up and then our video starts playing. Now that doesn't look realistic, so we're gonna fix that. Uh, the first thing we wanna do is head over right here to the animation pane and just make the video start playing uh, with the previous. 
I saw click start with previous and then I'm also going to select the picture and again head over to start and say start with previous. This way they both start at the same time. So the next thing we want to do is extend the duration of the wipe animation to match the length of the video. So the video currently plays for about 15 seconds. So what we want to do is also make sure that uh, the duration of our wipe animation lasts about 15 seconds. So I'm just going to put 15 right there at the top as the number uh, for the animation uh, duration and then now if I play it, you can see that it now blends properly and it looks very realistic and it looks like the image is actually being unveiled as the water pours into the cup. So that's looking pretty good already. So as you can see, within just a few minutes, we already have this almost pretty done using PowerPoint. That was quite easy to do. Uh, but next we need to add some sound effects to have the water pouring in the cup to make this more realistic. So let me show you how to do that. So to do that, you simply head to the insert tab and you're going to see the audio and then I'm going to click audio on my PC. And then I have here an audio clip of Waterpoint, which I downloaded again from Envato.com. If I play that, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so that's just Waterpoint. But if you see this clip is about 17 seconds long, which is a little bit longer than my video clip because my video clip is about 15 seconds. So which means if I actually play this, uh, it's going to go beyond the slide. So we're going to fix this and it's quite simple to fix. If you head over to the playback tab, uh, you're going to see an option here that says stream audio. So just click on that. Uh, I'm going to make it start from zero, but then instead of ending at about 17 seconds, I'll reduce that to about 15 seconds so that it ends about the same time as my video clip ends and doesn't spill over. Next, I'm also going to make it fade out so it doesn't have a hard stop. And I'm going to put a fade out number of about one. So it's going to fade out for about one second at the end of the video. So I'm also going to click on it on the animation pane and then say start with previous so that all of this start together once the animation start. And then once I go ahead and play this part, you're gonna see what it sounds like. That is already looking really, really good. All we need to do is add our text to this and, and maybe some voiceover if you're gonna export this as a video and our effect is fully done. So for the text, it's quite simple. I'm just gonna use a regular text box to add some text into this about the dollar a day. Give it some nice bold fonts, uh, put a white uh, bold color to it. and then blend it in properly so that it fits uh, nicely within the scene. So I'll just reduce the opacity slightly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate that and replicate the same thing for our second text for a million dollar a day. So next I'm just gonna go ahead and start animating the text. So for the text animation, I'm just gonna use a simple float in as our entrance animation, but I want it to float in with the individual letters for a more dramatic effect. So I'm just gonna right click right here on the animation pane and go to effect options. And then I'm gonna click on, instead of at once, I'll say by letter. And when I click on okay, they're gonna come in that way. Just gives it a more dramatic effect, in my opinion. So I'll go back to the animation tab and do add, uh, add animation right here. And then I'm also gonna do a float out for the exit animations for the text. And I'll repeat uh, the same thing to do it by letter. So when it comes to animations like this, especially if you're gonna use this as video, it's very important for your animations to come very precise at different points in the slide. And what many people don't know is that PowerPoint actually has a way for you to do this, to trigger animations at very specific points in your slide. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what you wanna do is first of all, just make sure they're all starting with previous. That way they're all starting at the beginning of the slide. And if you want a particular animation to start at a particular point, for example, I know that I want my text to exit about seven seconds. That's how long it took me uh, to do the text there. I just need to click and drag that to about seven seconds, as you can see right here. Just drag that to about seven seconds, and just like that, this text is gonna be coming, going out of the slide in about seven seconds. That's a very, very powerful tool to use when you're animating your slides in PowerPoint. So I'm gonna head to do the exact same thing for our second text and just align it to fit in the exact same spot as the first text, so that they blend in when they come in and out. So we are done with all the animation components for our slide. So if I was gonna be presenting this live, I'll just let the slide run. As it runs, I'll speak to it to the live audience. But in case you wanted to use this as a video to export, there's also an option within PowerPoint where you can just record whatever voiceover you wanted to use and let it run. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So to do that, head back to the insert tab on PowerPoint and then click on audio and this time around click on record audio. Then you can give it whatever name you want to give it right here and then once you're done you hit the red record button, record your voiceover and it will be added to your slide and you can match it to the timeline. And once you're done with all of that and want to export your video, uh, you just head over to files export and there's the option here to create video 
and then you can just simply select whatever format you want to export it as and then finally click on create video for your video to be created and then you can share this with the world. And just in case you're curious about the original image that I showed, to recreate that it's also just the exact same process but you just look for an image of the Last Supper and add your text to it and you would have the same effect. Now that is how you create simple VFX using PowerPoint. I've showed you a few tricks today, but you take those and make it unique in your own way when preparing your next PowerPoint presentation. If you enjoyed this video in any way, the best way you can tell me thank you is by hitting that like button. That makes YouTube recommend these videos for others to watch. And if you want to see more tutorials like this and you're not yet subscribed, I welcome you to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and then turn on the notification bell. That way actually YouTube notifies you when I release a new tutorial. For now, I think I'm going to go see if my mom can use this to now create that effect that she asked me for. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for stopping by. Keep learning. Bye bye. I'm pretty sure with an intro like that, everyone would be waving out the dollar bills to start giving you their donations. I'm pretty sure with an intro like that, everyone would be waving out the dollar bills to start giving you their donations. <laughs>